Hello! What's cracking, everyone? Um... <laughs> Today's video is going to be me cleaning and kind of like doing a room transformation-ish. I want to move some of my furniture around, aka my bed. I need to clean my room so bad. In the words of my mother, it is a war zone in here. I really truly don't understand how it got this messy. I did just get back from a four day trip, so I haven't unpacked yet, so that is like a big mess as well. So along with like picking up everything in my room, I just need to like, I need to clean my mirrors, I need to clean my sink. Yes, I have a sink. I mentioned this literally, I swear, in every video and everyone's like, what well, do you have a sink? I don't know, I didn't build this house. You can see me in the mirror back there. Hi. Anyways, I think the first thing I'm gonna start with, which is like really random, but it's under my sink because it has just been bothering me for so long, like how messy and gross it is. Yikes. Okay, time to start. <laughs> I've gotten everything out of here. The next thing I need to do is actually get one box and put all of the products that I really like use almost every day or like very often in there because I just have like so many boxes of products in here and I just always like throw all of my stuff in different ones and then I don't know where anything is, so. Hi, um, quick mention. I forgot to mention that this video is sponsored by CNC by Clean and Clear, one of my favorite skincare brands. Um, I have talked about them so many times and they are great, so I was super excited that they wanted to sponsor me because I love love them so thank you to cnc by clean and clear for sponsoring this video okay let's get on with it this one still has tape on it because i literally have another one that i'm using right now okay quick mention i've been using this mask one by cnc by clean and clear it's like a pink rubber peel off mask i have been using this around like two to three times a week and i really really like it it makes my skin just feel very clean and then after that i like to follow it with my don't flake moisturizer, which is actually my makeup bag because I use it like every day. So I'm gonna go get that and then put it in here. CNC by Clean and Clear is vegan and doesn't test on animals, which I really, really like. Also, this isn't oily, which my skin isn't very oily, but I just don't really love oil based products on my skin. So yeah, if you're looking for a good mask, Mask One by CNC by Clean and Clear. In you go, buddy. This is a moisturizer I was talking about. It's the Don't Flake by CNC by Clean and Clear. It's like a gel. It looks like there's none in there, but there is. I use this literally every day after I wash my face and before I put on my makeup because my skin gets really dry and this is. A really really great moisturizer i've gone through multiple tubs of this yeah another thing i'm putting in there is this makeup pad because i'm trying not to use makeup wipes um i thought i lost this but here it is okay back to it <laughs> after i have my bin that i use almost all the time um just some other products that i have q-tips and then i have just a bunch of different bags and stuff in there why is there always people doing the freaking yard as soon as i try to film anyways the next thing i need to do is unpack so uh like i said i went on a four-day trip and i still haven't unpacked so i need to do that and put my suitcase away so let's do that okay done was that funny? Please say it was funny. I mean, technically I am unpacked because I'm putting this away now. Okay, the next thing I need to do is just clean up my floor. I have like a ton of laundry that needs to be washed and also hung up. So I'm going to do that now. My floor is probably like the worst part of everything. I mean, it's getting to the point where I literally can't walk anymore. that's all clean so this bag is makeup that I use like every day and then I have like more makeup stuff in there um, and these are both hair products um, I've been cleaning for the last hour or two I haven't really filmed much because like I'm not even getting to like the main points that I want to film and I am so tired and there's also just a lot going on in my house so it's been really hard to film I'm going to continue this tomorrow see you tomorrow hi I'm straight up struggling right now so yesterday in my sleep I knocked my computer off my bed um, because I fell asleep as I was watching Gordon Ramsay videos so my hard drive broke when it fell and sort of pick 
So then as I was like touching like the metal thing, it like got stuck in my computer. So I had to like pull out a piece of metal got stuck in my thumb, like a really small, just like shard of metal. And I can't get it out and it hurts so bad. And now I have a piece of metal in my thumb and I can't get it out. And it literally hurts to do anything. It's like a splinter, but instead of wood, it's a full on piece of metal. Anyways, welcome back. You didn't go anywhere, but it's day two of me cleaning my room. I have freshly washed hair. My thumb hurts and I'm ready to go. My plans for today are to make my new bedside table that I bought. Second is to put on some clothes because I'm wearing a robe. And third is to move my bed. And I also need to clean my mirrors. That's the other thing. OMG, my dog. Foof. I'm gonna get changed and then start building my bedside table, so yeah. Before I built my table, I of course had to do some little things like hang up my one Polaroid I got over my four day trip and make sure that my drawers were organized and they were stuffed to the brim. Also just clean up my floor a little bit and now it was time to dust my shelves. Can y'all see all that dust on there? So I don't think I've ever really dusted up here. My mom goes around and waters the plants every Sunday and I have plants up here and she was like, dog, you need to dust this. And I was like, okay, fine. Ooh, I don't even wanna to touch anything, it's so dusty. How did I let everything get that gross? Can y'all see how dusty that is? So to clean this genius idea, I have a little Swiffer pad. <gasps> my plant, my plant! Oh no, I spilled dirt everywhere. I'm sorry. Can you even tell a difference? So this is what my shelves look like now. Before they were really, really cluttered and I think I did a good job of like simplifying it even though there still is like a lot of stuff up there, but. As dumb as this sounds, cleaning these mirrors was what I was most like not excited for, but like wanting to do just because of how gross they were. It literally got to the point where you couldn't even see yourself. So uh, yeah, that really needed to be done. I literally just scrubbed this mirror and it still looks awful, but I did the best I can. So now that I actually could see myself in the mirrors in my room, I needed to clean my sink. So I scrubbed the sink and of course the countertop. My sink is really, really old, so no matter how much I clean it, it still always looks dirty. Sorry. <laughs> the time has come where I am building my little side table thing. I thought that this was gonna match the two wood pieces in my room, but they really don't. So now I'm gonna have three different colors of wood, which is fine. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just thought it would match a little more, but it just, yeah, it really doesn't. Okay. <laughs> so I'm already kind of, not stressed, but like I already don't know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna get it started and then I'll come back to you. my finished little room makeover of course i forgot to mention this in the end as well so another quick shout out to cnc by clean and clear for sponsoring this video if you want to learn more about cnc by clean and clear i will have links down below along with the products that i mentioned in this video go check it out another thing i wanted to say is that the three new pillows i got on my bed are all under um 30 dollars so I feel like if they were gonna be on Urban, they would be literally anywhere from like 60 to 70 because pillows are freaking expensive. So 
Um, I'm telling you this because before you go on Urban and just like buy a ton of room decor stuff, check at your local places around you because you could find some really cute stuff for cheaper, so yeah. I literally just spent the last three hours doing that and I'm so tired. I hope you guys like this. I hope it was somewhat entertaining. Hope it was a fun time. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mwah.